It is Friday, February 26, 2021, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have several pieces of information to cover today, including several more alleged new photos. We'll also take a look at the water level, the live stream, and a couple of your comments from our last video. I also found this Forbes article to be rather interesting and wanted to share a couple of quotes. Let's hop into it. In our last video, we took a look at several alleged new photos that included pictures of the dam, the visitor's area, and trees in bloom along the walking paths surrounding the dam. After doing a bit more digging, I actually found another tweet that included several more alleged new photos. One actually has the dam in it, and several more shows trees in bloom. This tweet was sent out on February 21st, and it says, Spring is coming. The flowers around the Three Gorges Dam are blooming. And the first alleged new photo is the one that's the most interesting. It does show a tree in bloom with the Three Gorges Dam in the background. And for those of you that haven't been watching the last few videos, we're covering this because the CCP is lowering the water level at the dam, and we're just trying to figure out why. Even though the dam is deformed and possibly in need of repair, I personally believe they are lowering the water level at the dam in preparation for spring, and these photos do provide just a bit of evidence. So let's take a quick look at the water level at the Three Gorges Dam today. The current water level is 166.85 meters, the current inflow is not noted, and the current outflow is listed at 5,520 cubic meters per second. And it is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And yes, I have been checking on both live streams, and unfortunately, both are still off. In the last video, I was curious to know your opinions of the alleged new photos of the dam, the visitor's area, and the trees in bloom. And this comment is courtesy of Ramsey Silent. It says, will one of them show the trees in bloom? This makes sense because Japan's cherry and plum trees started blooming early. But in the new picture of the visiting area and the drone footage, there are no trees in bloom. So I don't believe they are recent, and if they were newer than last year, you would still see debris from the flooding. So either the video or the pictures are a lie, and I'm backing Japan's trees to be the truth of China's trees. Thanks for the comment, Ramses. And this comment was courtesy of Mark Rice. He said, you asked if we thought the mentioned video was recent. In my opinion, it is not. The vegetation is dark green of summer, not the light green of early spring. Also, the basin below the dam is green from algae blossom. That would have been washed out by the 550 cubic meters per second release. And wouldn't the basin be swirling if they were discharging that much water? Thank you so much for the comment, Mark. You do pose some good questions. And I found this Forbes article that's titled Arguments That Bitcoin Harms the Environment Through Wasteful Emissions Missed the Mark. And I just wanted to read a couple of quick paragraphs. It says one interesting way to look at this is the use of Sichuan province for mining Bitcoin, where the majority of Chinese miners who are in the People's Republic of China do their mining. So over the past two weeks, we've read two conflicting articles, one stating that the majority of Bitcoin mined in China was mined in Xinjiang, and now this Forbes article claims that the majority of Chinese miners who are in the People's Republic of China do their mining in Sichuan province and use the power of the Three Gorges Dam. And a couple more quick sentences. It says Sichuan suffers from overcapacity. An ambitious centralized state-driven project led to the Three Gorges Dam and a glut of power that can't find usage at optimal prices. I think the phrase glut of power could be a bit strong because it was only a month ago that China was experiencing major power outages. Okay, carrying on. Instead of filling in the gaps with decade-long plans to fill in ghost cities commissioned by central planners, instead a hyper-mobile fleet of hardware miners can come in and out and take advantage of excess power. The main reason why I wanted to read a few quotes from that article is because the information provided is basically the opposite of other information we've read in other articles recently. And it goes to show you that every media outlet has their own narrative. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe.